Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem we have four quadratic functions. This is under h of x, and we're looking to see which one of them lines up with these three values right here, where h of 0 is 19, h of 1 is negative 10, and h of 2 is 5. And the easiest way to do this is just plug in these values into these equations until only one of them works for all three. So we're going to start with h of 0 is equal to negative 19. Let's do this with a. For a, h of 0, plugging in 0 for x wherever we see it, would be equal to 0 squared plus 10 times 0 minus 19. And what this means is for h of 0, the x squared term goes away and the x term goes away, and we're just left with negative 19. And we don't have to test this for b, c, and d, because if you look at this, if the x squared term and the x squared and the x term are disappearing, these two terms would disappear, these two terms would disappear, and these two terms would disappear. And all you'd be left with is negative 19, negative 19, and negative 19. So h of 0 fits all of these. So we go on to 1, negative 10. Now we can start to narrow down our options. So for this one, if we're checking for a. We have to make sure a works for all of them, b works for all of them, c works for all of them, and so on. For a, h of 1. Again, we're plugging in 1 wherever we see an x. Be 1 squared plus 10 times 1 minus 19. What's that going to look like? It's going to look like 1 squared is 1 plus 10 minus 19. This is 11 minus 19 is negative 8. We're looking for negative 10, we got negative 8, so that means a is not going to be our answer. Moving on to b, again plugging in for h of 1, that's going to be 2 times 1 squared plus 7 times 1 minus 19. That's going to look like 2 times 1 squared is 2 times 1 is 2, plus 7 times 1 is 7 minus 19. That's going to be 2 plus 7 is 9, 9 minus 19 is negative 10. Okay, so this works. So this is a potential option. We don't, we're going to have to check it for x equals 2, but we can move on. Let's see. Let's see. h of 1 is going to be equal to 3 times 1 squared plus 6 times 1 minus 19. Getting that from there. 3 times 1 squared. 1 times 3 is 3 plus 6 times 1 is 6 minus 19. In this situation, we have 3 plus 6 is 9, 9 minus 19 is negative 10. So answer C also works for x is equal to 1. Our last option, D, h of 1 is equal to 5 times 1 squared plus 4 times 1 minus 19. That's going to look like 5 times 1 squared is 5 times 1 is 5, plus 4 times 1 is 4 minus 19. You're starting to see a pattern here. 5 plus 4 is 9, minus 19 is again negative 10. So this one, h of 0 works for b, c, and d. h of 1 works for b, c, and d. And all we have left is h of 2, so hopefully this is a good problem. Only one of these is going to work. So h of 2, you can be able to 2 times 2 squared plus 7 times 2 minus 19. Again, just plugging in 2 for x. 2 squared is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. Plus 7 times 2 is 14. Minus 19. This is going to be 8 plus 14 is 22. 22 minus 19 is 3. So the answer we were looking for here was 5, so b is not going to be the answer. Moving on to c h of 2 is equal to 3 times 2 squared plus 6 times 2 minus 19. What that's going to look like, 2 squared is still 4, times 3 is 12, plus 6 times 2 is 12, minus 19. 12 plus 12 is 24, minus 19 is 5. So we've seen that c works for x equals 0, x equals 1, and x equals 2, meaning that it gives us these three values. So we're pretty certain that C is going to be our answer. We can just check D. It's not going to take us very long just to see that D doesn't work. H of 2 for D is going to be 5 times 2 squared plus 4 times 2 minus 19. 2 
2 squared is 4, times 5 is 20, plus 4 times 2 is 8, minus 19. This is 20 plus 8 is 28, minus 19 is 9. So D doesn't work, which means C, as we hoped, is our answer. As always, thank you for liking and subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video.